Hey Perry, it's Anthony, the individual you spoke to earlier on the phone. I was just sending over this uh, free web analysis that I told you I would. Um, so I'm um, just going to give you some quick information here and some tips that you can do yourself to actually improve your site's uh, ranking with Google. Um, but um, just kind of wanted to start out here and uh, kind of give you an overview of your current uh, website status. So this is a tool that I use called AREPS and I can plug websites in to kind of determine um, uh, how they're operating. So as you can see here, um, and this will be one of the tips that I'm providing. So the three tips I'm going to provide is going to be backlinking, it'll be uh, refer, uh, which is kind of referring domains, uh, it'll be citations, and it'll be content. So in regards to backlinking, it's uh, when any other website links to your website. So like, see how that lights up and I can click on it. So there's 43 of those across the internet that leads back to your page. And um, they're on 15 total domains, if that makes sense. But that's what backlinking is. Um, in regards to how it affects your ranking, Google likes to see good backlinks from authoritative websites. And that drives up this domain rating and your page rating. As you can see, your domain rating is pretty low, so that's why um, you're not ranking very high for um, some uh, specific keywords and everything. It also lets, pull me, lets me see how many organic keywords that you were ranking for when Google crawls your website, and it gives an estimate about, about the uh, amount of traffic, people that click on your web page every month, and it looks like it's about 34. Um, this is the number that we're trying to get up because the more people that are being directed to your site because they're searching for words, it means the more conversions and clients that you will get. But if we go into the organic keywords here, you can see that you're in the number one position for your uh, company name, which is a, you know pretty standard across the board. Um, but if we go to position this, you can see after Dan and Company, it drops off to 13. Uh, which means you're not even on the first page of Google. Um, Google usually stops around 10 and then it goes on to the second page. Uh, the reason that's important is because per Google st statistics, 91% of people stay on the first page only with Google and 75% of those people click on the top three results. So if you're not in the top three, four, five, six at least, you're not getting a lot of clicks for the keyword that they're searching. What I mean by keyword is these. These are keywords that are pulled from your website. These are words that customers search every single month when they're looking for something. And uh, they're important because if someone's searching Nashville meet remodeling contractor, then they're obviously looking for a remodeling contractor in Nashville. So you want, you want to pop up at the top and then direct them to your page and then hopefully they call and you have a call to action that gets, uh, you know, lands them as a client. Um, but this kind of just shows um, the keywords that drop off here. Um, a, a high search keyword is a general contractor in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, it has over 200 searches per month, and its keyword difficulty is really low, which is a 1. Um, that means it's pretty easy to rank for. That's why I'm using this as an example, because it's a large search volume per month, and this is something that you could rank for fairly easily and get a lot of traffic from. So. Here is your competitor's site. Um, they're not number one or anything, but they're um, the first uh, actual company that pops up on the search engine opposed to um, na uh, like uh, your standard um, directories and referrals and all that stuff. But as you can see here, they have 97 referring domains with 176 keywords, and they're getting 75 people to their website clicked on their website every month. Their domain authority is higher, which is why they're ranking higher. And uh, there's more keywords on their website, so that's also why they're uh, getting more traffic. But as you can see here, National General Contractors 150. They're getting two searches, or they're in the two position, which is driving traffic um, and giving them those uh, search results. I just want to kind of show you the difference between um, your website, uh, a competitor's website, and a website that's in the number one position. So this is just pretty much a national website that. Um, refers you to general contractors. They only have three referring domains. Their domain rating is very high, but um, Google actually gives preference to local companies over websites like this, so it'd be pretty easy to outrank this. Um, they're getting 41 organic keywords uh, searched, uh, pulled from their page, and they're driving 270 people per month to their website. So when you go in here and look, 
this is where that's coming from. They're in the number one position for general contractor in Nashville, Tennessee, which is a search volume of 250. 94 people are clicking and going to their website. Uh, 55 for the 150. And you can just see they're in the 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3 position um, for all of these keywords. And that's how they're getting that high search volume. That's something that you can do with your web page as well um, and drop it to your site and start getting some calls for contracting jobs um, in, in those regards. But um, that's kind of the backlinking tip that I'm providing for you. Um, the second one we're going to get into is the map pack area. So this is also important too because about 44 to 61% of people click on top three businesses in that map pack. So when you Google General Contractor Nashville, Tennessee, you get these that pop up and people are clicking on this. The way you can help improve your map pack ranking, backlinks help with this also, but um, you can increase the number of citations you have. And by citations, I mean your company name, company phone number, and your company address, and listing those on internet directories um, like uh, Yelp or uh, even Facebook um, on the internet yellow pages. Those citations show Google that you're a legitimate business, that you're listing your business places, and it gives you preference over companies that don't have as many citations. Uh, but that's the second tip that you can use to get up into this map pack to drive more business. And also, if you have a Google My Business, which is one of these accounts, make sure it's completed 100%. Uh, they also check that. Um, and the last thing I'm going to talk about here is the content on your web page. So Google likes to see about 1,000 to 1,500 words on this first page, um, and you're lacking a lot of content here. Um, the more content you have, it just um, lets Google crawl your site and pick up on more keywords and sh lets them know exactly what you do rather than trying to guess. So uh, more content would make this keyword volume go up, which in turn would help with your organic traffic directed to your site and uh, all that good stuff. And with the content... Um, you can just make sure you're using specific keywords so Google knows um, what's driving that content. Um, you know, like General Contractor Nashville, Tennessee, would, you would want to put that in your content because uh, um, that's something that drives a lot of traffic in the search engine and you want to let Google know that you provide that service. Um, but outside of that, that's pretty much all I have in regards to the tips um, I'm providing uh, for you. Um, you can implement those right away and uh, hopefully drop some more traffic to your website. Um, and also feel free to contact me if you think that I can help. Uh, my uh, phone number and email will be at the bottom of this. And uh, even if um, you're not interested in working together, then uh, I, would, I would appreciate some feedback in regards to the video. I'm trying to bring some value to some you know, local businesses. Um, so if you do have any feedback, I would appreciate that too. Uh, but I appreciate your time and um, reach out to me with any questions.